whole nugget about uh, 200 kg. Those yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, 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 I'm on here for the day. Odiambo, it me pata bari kuna pesa ime patikana kwa imta yetu yenye si ya lali. Sisi kama wagaji wa huku BTL kuanza kwa Kenya mzima hiyo ni kuharibu uchumi ya Kenya. Sasa tunataka hao watu kwanza wachukuliwe hatua na sheria ichukue mkondo yake. Mimi nimetokea kazi kama kawaida nikapata shughuli inaendelea. Hata mimi nikashtuka sana kwa nini inaendelea huku. Ilikuwa tu rental ya kawaida hata sisi tulijenga huku. Ilikuwa tu mjengo rental kama kawaida. Tukwajua biashara ingine inaendelea huku ndani. Officers came up to this place. We were acting on information that uh, some foreigners are dealing with uh, fake currency. We've come. We managed to arrest three foreigners who, according to, to their passports, they are Cameroonians. We have estimated about three billion Kenya shillings in terms of foreign currency, which we suspect are fake. That is US dollars and uh, sterling bonds. And of course, Kenyan currency is about 15 million. Uh, in a period of a span of two years, this is the second, uh, I think, third case. So in terms of uh, it of uh, recovery of fake currency, I don't want to say it's rising. I think it's uh, a crime that is being managed. Yes. So look of things, this is like a storm. It, uh, it might be produced somewhere. However, among other things that we covered, there's a Dora machine, which I've said we need to subject it to the experts such that we know whether it's produced here. The fake currents were being produced here, or they were produced somewhere, and uh, this is a, store, a storehouse. Mm. So we are investigating. We have the three prisoners in custody, and uh, we will share more information.